63% of physicians have reported symptoms of burnout. That's according to a recent survey, with many citing administrative burdens like excessive paperwork as a contributing factor to their stresses. But now, AI tools are being developed to lighten the load for doctors and improve patient care. So joining me now is Dr. Ashley B.C. She is a cardiologist and the medical director of AI operations at New York Presbyterian Hospital. What an interesting area of development. Thanks for joining us. Um, so people don't really consider all the paperwork that doctors have to do throughout the day, and it has to be accurate. Um, how can AI help healthcare providers? You know, uh, thanks, Emery. There's a few ways that we're looking into how AI can help healthcare providers at New York Presbyterian, and I'll give you three examples. Yeah. One is something called an AI ambient scribe. And so you can imagine when the clinician patient are in their visit, this visit can be transcribed and automated into a note so that the provider can review it and edit it and make any changes to make sure it accurately reflects the, the patient encounter. Right. Um, another example is the use of automated and customizable communications, electronic communications. So if a patient uh, connects with a provider electronically, you can have an automated communication. And we're finding that these communications are more comprehensive, mm. but it allows the provider to have a foundation to work from. So then they can personalize it and edit it and, and add any detail they, they think is relevant. Right. And the last example I would love to give is just, you know, as a cardiologist, when I see a patient, if I see you every six months, sometimes I would love to have a summary of the visits you've had in between since the last time I saw you. So when we meet, I can reference that and we can have a conversation about it. Right. And it can make the appointment a lot more efficient, right? A lot more efficient. What is Pajama time and how does AI help with that? I've never heard of that. I know it's you know it's important to note that provider documentation burden is increasing. And when I say increasing, not one to two hours a day, but it could be upwards of four to five hours a day. Whoa. And this extends into the evening. And that metric is called pajama time, hmm. not after hours work. And so we think that the, some of the solutions that I just mentioned can help with the provider experience by reducing pajama time, mm -hmm. but also can increase high touch care with the patients, right? Making it more meaningful, making it more personalized that, that visit or mm -hmm. encounter. And I was just thinking, you know, it's about quality of life too for the doctors. If they are not spending time in bed, still doing paperwork and they're happier and they're getting better sleep, they're gonna be better healthcare providers, Absolutely. right? Um, will AI tools be able to reduce the burden of chronic diseases? You know, that's what our hope is. And, yeah. and there's a couple ways that I think that can happen, even in the near term. And that's things like patient education and um, summaries to make complicated medical reports easier for patients to understand. Mm. Because patients need to be engaged as part of their care team. And we know that when patients contribute to their care, it improves outcomes. Yeah. Another example would be one of our research teams is looking at something called an electrocardiogram, which is a snapshot of the heart's electrical activity. Mm. And we can use AI to see patterns on that that a human couldn't see mm. in order to detect more advanced disease, things like problems with the heart valves, problems with the heart muscle that you normally would need more advanced testing for. Yeah. And the goal there is to get the patient's care earlier to really reduce that burden of chronic disease. It sounds all so fascinating. Uh, Dr. Ashley B.C., thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. This TechWatch segment has been brought to you by Microsoft Copilot. It's AI for all.